Hello, my name is Abraham Mufori, and in this video, I will take you through equality of cells. So let's start. So in our previous video, we did rationalization of said, in which all the denominator of the fractional said was either um, a number plus a said or two said. But I just wanted to show you if in case you meet a question that you are supposed to rationalize a certain said where the denominator is just one set, single set like this, then how do you go about it? So in this, if you remember our, our rule, we said that in our previous video, you just multiply both the numerator and denominator by what? The conjugate set of the denominator. But here, what is the conjugate set of the denominator? It's what? Negative square root of 5. If I multiply both top and down by negative square root of 5, negative square root of 5, negative will cancel negative. So in other words, if you have just one number at the denominator one square root sorry single square root like this at the denominator just multiply both numerator and denominator of the fractional original fractional set by the conjugate um, is the same square root here and then it will rationalize the denominator so and so then you get three square root of five then over the square root of five all squared in the same thing multiplying and so this will give me three square root of five over five so very simple right so in case you made it anywhere, that is how you do it. So let's start with it. today's topic. Um, equality of says. So definition. Two says A plus B square root of C and D plus E square root of F are said to be equal if and not only if. This happens if and only if this A is equal to this D and the square root here is equal to in other words, C will be equal to F and b will be equal to what e okay so if you say this and this are the same then it means that this b would actually be equal to this e and this c will so this b will actually be equal to this e and this c will actually be equal to f that is when we say two sets are equal okay so let's take an example and see so we are saying that if this as in if after expanding all these this is equal to that then our goal here or our task here is to find the value of what a so we are saying that whatever that we get here is the same as this one so what do we do we try and expand this okay so here we can solve this by expanding the left side of the equation and compare both sides so after expanding we are saying that they are equal from the definition and let's start so this is equal to that how do i expand this like this implies that I'll just multiply this by this 2 so the whole of this times 2 minus the whole of this times that okay so you can you can do it like that it's very simple this times 2 minus this a square root of 3 times that so in other ways I this times negative of this but I can you know multiplication is commutative so I can bring it that one first so like that and then you try to simplify this this will give me six this time that will give me a square root of three this will give me three negative three a square root of three and this will give me what negative four you know like i said multiplication of say multiply the numbers in front four times negative a you get negative four a then you multiply the square roots you get square root of three times square root of three is square root of three square which will be three then the whole of this is equal to that then we have to group like 10 so you group the numbers one side and you group the square root so it's like like i said the other time it's like when you are subtracting said it's like you factor the square root out what will be left will be left with negative 3a here that is this plus this one will be left with 8 so if i expand this i'll get this back okay very cool right then this from the our definition we are saying that if two sets are equal then this side the number side is equal to the number side so this side is equal to that so i solve for what's a our task here is to find a so i'll make a the subject okay okay i take six here negative eight minus six i'll get negative 24 and i'll maintain my negative 12 then after dividing through by negative 12 i'll get what a to be a to be two or we can try the other way around we are saying that if these two sets are equal then this side is equal to that side it means that this is equal to this it means i can even divide both sides by 
square root of 3 and it will go so i'll be left with negative 3a plus 8 equals h which implies that's what a is equal to 2 why because if i take this 8 to this side it will become what negative 6 it become 2 minus h which will give me negative 6 if i divide 2 by negative 3 i'll get h to be what 2 so very simple right now i'll go here to learn the equality of series to find what we call the positive square root of a set let's let's think about some um expressions or some simplification of some numbers let's see if i have a okay i'm saying that a is the same as the square root of a square that is true because in our first introduction to set i explained how you can get a so if you've not you don't understand this you can go and watch our first introduction to set and you really understand why a is equal to that so likewise this is equal to square root of 4 because 4 is the same as what 2 square and then it will give me square root of 2 square will give me 2 if i have square root of 3 3 square is the same as square root of 9 and this is equal to what 3 we are trying to generate something here look at it carefully so i have square root of 3 square is the same as what 3 now this means that if i square 3 i'll get what mm -hmm. like if i square this 2 i'll get whatever that is here okay 3 square is 9 now if i want to find my 3 back i can find the square root of 9 i'll get what now let's look at this if i have a plus b all squared okay this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus what b squared then this is the same as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab this expression here is given by this so the question is if this square is giving me this then what will be the square root of only this side think about this think about it like this one if 3 square is giving me 9 what will be the square root of 9 we are saying the square root of 9 is the same as square root of 3 square which is equal to what, 3 so it means if 3 square is giving me 9 then it means the square root of 9 is actually this 3 so if this a plus b all square is giving me this then it means the square root of this is actually equal to a plus b so it means the square root of whatever that we had here is actually equal to what the square root of a plus b all square which is equal to what a plus b now let's bring this to um, set form so what happens to the square root of sets let's expand the following if i have this square root of a plus square root of b and square root of a minus square root of b after expanding what will i get so this i expand whoa whoa, whoa. i'm really sorry because there shouldn't be any square here okay there's no square here it's like a square root of a plus square root of b times square root of a plus square root of b so that is it now i expand this will multiply the whole of that that is it and then this will multiply the whole of this so if you go through the simplification very well this is why you get a plus square root of a b plus square root of another a b plus b okay so this becomes square root of a times b which is this this becomes square root of a times b which is become this now after simplifying this what you get now look at this this is actually the square of the whole of this so what will be the square root of this just taking one of these so the square root of the whole of this will give me what square root of a plus square root of b very simple right likewise if i expand this one if i go through all these steps i'll get square root of sorry you get a plus b minus 2 square root of ab this means that if i find the square root of a plus b minus 2 square root of ab i'll get square root of a minus square root of b okay so like i said this means that if i find the square root of this it's the same as square root of in brackets square root of a plus square root of b squared then what this will give me square root of a plus square root of b since this two can take this two out so it means the square root of the whole of this is the same as this look who the square root of this look here square root of this side is what square root of a plus square root of b and the square root of what this one if intense is it, is it sorry if it is minus then this is actually equal square root of a minus square root of b so let's take an example let's, let's look at something here positive square root of set so 
a positive square root of a set is expressed that so the square root of a certain set p plus square root of q is actually of the form of a plus square root of b the reason why we are these are different is that look at here now our p will be what a plus the whole of a plus b can represent our hot p and the whole of a b can represent our hot q and um this side we didn't bring anything here we are assuming that in case here is one so here can be one here can be anything but the square root of any set of this form p plus square root of q is of this form square root of a plus square root of b if it is minus then it becomes square root of a minus square root of b minus because look at here here there was just one number this after simplifying you get just one number here minus something square root of something okay so example find a positive square root of 49 minus 12 square root of 5. so in solving this okay this will be of the form what the square root of the whole of this will be what square root of a minus square root of b you solve this you go through this in our next video because it's very long and so wait and watch out for the next video after that you go through it you use what you call simultaneous equations and some substitutions change of subject and the rest so we have to take our time and do it in our next video we'll solve this example and then everything will be cool okay thank you and then subscribe to my channel